kicking off the week celebrating Guy Fawkes Night. Yes, remember, remember, it's the 5th of November. So without further ado, let me introduce the ladies that are sure to send sparks flying this lunchtime. First up, like a rocket, she's up amongst the stars. It's Jane McDonald. Yeah. Just like a firework, she's loud, bright, and a right old banger. It's Carol McGiffin. <laughs> Welcome back, Sheree Murphy. Yeah. Soaking the bonfire and banter today, it's me, Jackie Bramble. Yeah. Coming up today is the government's DNA database tops four and a half million. We're asking, would you mind if your details were put on the list, even if you were innocent of a crime? As always, we want to hear what you think about the loose chat today. All you need to do is send us your thoughts and views in an email to loose.women at itv.com. Plus, she's the former pop idol who's back after three years away with a new single and album that's Scotland's finest, Michelle McManus. Never one to mince his words, the film director and restaurant critic who's just written the secrets behind his amazing weight loss. It's the slim line, yet still cuddly, Michael Winner. <laughs> Welcome back, Cherie. Thank you. Oh, it's lovely to see oh, you. you. Been, what have you been doing? Well, you know what you've been doing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of free time on my hands. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pregnant. Ooh. So. Um, oh. Four and a half months now. And how are you um, feeling? Well, I've been really sick, really poorly. So I've been hiding, actually. I've been on lots of lovely holidays and um, just been gorgeous. You know, I've been at home with the kids. My little girl Ruby started school in September. So it's been nice. I've been home being mummy and wife and stuff. But yes, I'm looking forward to the new arrival. Should be good. For March, it must be March. -ish. Yes. Yeah. Around March, yeah. Must so we, should be good. Do we know? Um, well, the first scan said a girl, and the second scan, scan said a boy, so... so definitely one or the other. So one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> you told us this morning it was going to be a whopper. Oh, it's going to be a whopper. <laughs> They've said already that it's uh, bigger than average, the baby, and I do seem to have whoppers. So by the time <laughs> Christmas is over, I'm going to go into hiding. I'm not going to be out and about because I'll be out here yeah. and out there, so... <laughs> she was, you were the only one who was well-behaved at the weekend because, of course, we were at the wedding of the year. The wedding of the year. She's as she is now. She's up on our honeymoon. Excuse me. I, I was quite well behaved. You see, you weren't sober. No. <laughs> you had to be held to bed. Relatively. I was you were relatively. Actually, you were amazing. I was quite good, wasn't I? Jane was the head girl. Jane she was organising all our transport to and yeah. from the venue. Yeah, and there was mum, sort of there was one bus leaving early. That's right. And bus, darling. Limo, sorry. Limo. <laughs> Oh, well, no, because when we got back to the hotel, we went to the bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and had a few more. We did but that all the time, though, didn't we? Brilliant. Yeah. A great weekend. But, you know, it was like, for me, it was kind of weird being, you know, up there, mm -hmm. that, up that part, up north. We <laughs> <laughs> did have to get oh, a small insults and an oxygen mask when she was at Watford. She translated for you, didn't she, throughout the... Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. It's a cock, how are you? Right, girls, as I mentioned earlier today, of course, the 5th of November, so are we fans of Bonfire Night? Do we like all the kind of the celebrations and stuff? Sheree, are you going to be well to fireworks tonight? No, I won't, actually, because I'm in London, and my kids, I've told them they've got to wait until Wednesday when I get back, and then I can do a little display mm -hmm. for them. I know, yeah. but I want to be there to their faces. The thing is, they're scared anyway. You know, they get really scared of fireworks, but... When I was little, my mum and dad couldn't afford fireworks. Oh. But sometimes we used to have sparklers, you know, if they were, you know, a bit more well-off than normal. Um, and other times they say, oh, just watch out the window at everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> like, we used to sit at the window and we're like, ooh, ooh, like that, you know. I do like fireworks. They That's are exactly pretty. exactly what we had to do. We, 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 straight upstairs, out the window, like that, jacket potato, that was it. <laughs> fireworks. Oh, well, well, a I know, we were so poor. I bet we were poorer than you. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally we were allowed to have sparklers, but it, most of the time not even those. But I used to absolutely love sparklers, but fireworks, in general, for me now, I just think if you've seen one firework, you've kind of seen them all, because they all do the same thing, don't they? They all go out and everyone goes, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's always the same. You know, it's like I'm a bit 
disappointed. So oh, I, I, I love don't... them. I, li I, just, I like all sparkly lights. And I used to love it. The 4th of July in America, of course, they go over completely over the top with everything. And, and um, 4th of July was amazing. I used to live in this apartment building when I first moved to L.A. We'd go on the roof of the building, and you could just sort of see all around L.A., all these amazing wow. It's nice things that you can off. see, you know, from Best one I ever safe saw. Place. Best one I ever saw. I had to report on Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston's wedding. Well, it sounds glamorous, except oh, I was just you. stuck on the hard shoulder of a road outside their house all night. <laughs> and they had the most amazing firework display I have ever seen. Really? Ever. Oh, no, 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 no. Sydney, Sydney Harbour Bridge. No, but it's bigger than that. Eve. It's not. <laughs> absolutely, it cannot be. Once you've seen those fireworks, everything else is just like, Phew. Oh, I feel not. <laughs> Oh, no, you you Wakefield, Wakefield, little bonfire at the back. You know. <laughs> <laughs> my mother had come out with all spuds in foil, stick them in bonfire. Yeah. 24 hours later, they were lovely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, burst to a clear. <laughs> and, and then my dad would get a six inch nail, dust the whole thing out, I think, and start hammering stuff to fence, you know, like Catherine wheels. Oh, yeah. Like, and then it took half an hour for them to get going. Do you remember that? <laughs> and it was like, just stand back, stand back. And it was like, it's not doing that, Dad. You know, I bet it go. Yeah. <laughs> and then the bangers. Don't it, don't no, it. The bangers in those days as well. You know, you get all oh, really excited. It's gonna go, put you in this. They go. <laughs> <laughs> like like fire. What am? You know what happened? Um, but bonfires. Having you read recently, there's quite a few places where you're not allowed to have bonfires. Bonfires are, are lovely because you're all snugly and oh, cozy yeah, and, and blah blah blah. blah. And everything. But the, you know, because they constitute maybe having a little bit of fun, the health and safety police or the global warming police have come along and said, "Oh no, you can't do that." So right. no bonfires. Yeah, yeah. Quite, quite a lot of places have said that you can't can't do it. In fact, like where you used to live, you, they couldn't do them, could they? Well, not in Hackney, no. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen, you don't think I'm done for Charles Beale's day because it's not fair. And my brother had to babysit me everywhere. I've been the bane of his life for as long as he can remember. So I used to say, get in this old pram here and dress up in this old piece of thing. <laughs> put this, honest to God, put this mask on and we'll go out guy in Pennyfoot Guy. I used to sit there pretending to be dead like that. <laughs> and I thought, acting, this is my main role in acting. The fact that... Oh, I'd pay to see that. Stop, stop it. <laughs> and, uh, and I used to think, oh, we're going to get some fireworks. And he just went, bought some fags. <laughs> well, listen, okay. James already been getting in the mood for the big night, haven't you, Jane? Yeah. Let's have a look at this. Miss. Penny for the guy? Oh, I'll give you more than a penny. I think it's a bit of a bargain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Time for a quick break in proceedings, but when we get back, which of us thinks that looking in the mirror 71 times a day seems a bit too low? Back soon. <laughs> 